Hi there, I'm Nikki, welcome to my channel and today's video I am doing a little draw with me and a bit of a brainstorm for one of my upcoming bullet journal ideas. Today I decided to do something that is a bit different from what I would normally do but I looked back at some of my old videos and thought what did I really enjoy to do and one of them was a draw with me of some plants so I decided that I felt inspired by that and I took inspiration from things around me, went on a couple walks, looked at plants and Nature, all the things around me and found that it all really inspired me and I really wanted to create something to do with that. So I thought today would be a great day to experiment with using a new medium. I used watercolours and this is pretty much the first time I've actually used watercolours before so I'm completely new to it, just experimenting with different techniques. Please don't judge me too harshly of course, I am trying my best to learn. But I had a lot of fun with this and I decided to do a draw with me of different plants and and pieces of nature. An idea for one of my upcoming bullet journal spreads is a spring flowers or nature theme and I really wanted to do something that would be quite fitting for the spring and summer months and normally all of my bullet journal spreads are very monochromatic and I basically use two or three pens throughout the whole entire thing so I thought it would be interesting to actually introduce an element of colour or a different medium because I'm always using the same materials. This entire process was something that I have enjoyed thoroughly and I really wish to do again sometime. I absolutely love working with watercolours and being able to explore different mediums because in painting I usually would focus on using acrylics for example. But anyway you can see more of my artwork, more of my pieces for example from my bullet journals on my Instagram and I usually post little updates, sneak peeks, teasers on there so you can follow me either at underscore Nikki McKenzie or at expressive journal. Those are my two Instagrams and of course all of my social media are linked down below in the description. The main technique that I use for the centerpiece that I'm working on at the beginning. I try to create lots of different paint splats by flicking the paintbrush to create a few smaller splats and then I added a lot of water, excess water, onto the brush and then added some more larger shapes and I felt that this really helped bring everything together. I'm not sure how to describe it but I really liked how this looked. It also helped me when I needed to build up the center. Then of course once I'd done the first layer I then moved on to doing the second little sprig of this fern and then and the next one and of course this is all about working from light to dark and then having to build up the color and wait until it's dry. It's a very interesting process and I quite enjoyed exploring this. After all with watercolors there are so many different techniques to use and I'm looking forward to being able to explore them all over time and hopefully improve my technique. So if you guys have any ideas, any advice that you'd like to give me then I would love to hear it and if you could add that in the comments below that would be wonderful and then we can have a little discussion and share our ideas and thoughts. As you can see there are many different types of plants here and I'm a very big plant person. I do love to do my research into different types of plants and I love to care for them and look after them. Also when I do go on walks I feel very inspired by nature around me and my surroundings so I felt that going on these walks and seeing these different pieces of nature, these different plants, trees, leaves, all the growth in life, it all sparked an idea in my mind and I was very happy to be able to sit down and replicate it. It's really relaxing. It's very nice to be able to find a new hobby or something that you enjoy to take your mind off things. 